Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about how to create a search vertical. I've done that in other demonstrations also, but here I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to go to the search center, of course. Actually, let's open that in a new tab. So we can switch back and forth. And then I'm going to search for Lena. Of course, I do find Lena there too. She's in the list and she is uh, there's her actual contact card. Works, but not really good. So I'm going to do a search vertical. I'm going to add a page. Call it Consultants Results. And then in the search results web part, I'm actually not going to edit it this time. I'm going to delete it because I want to use another web part. I want to use the content search web part. Probably seen me use that before. It's a bit of a favorite of mine. And in this case, it does make a whole lot of sense. So I'm going to move it down here to the bottom. Sometimes you need to do that twice or dragging and dropping these things. It's a bit tricky, but I want it at the last position there. So now I'm going to edit the web part. And by default, that web part is showing my latest changed items, and there, there are none in this site, so that's fine. I'm going to display this now as a list with paging, 50 items at a time. And I want the picture on the left, because the picture would make a whole lot of sense for consultants, of course, now that I have those pictures. Now I'm going to change the query. And I don't want recently changed items. I want items uh, matching a content type and I want them to be contacts because that's how I stored my consultants and then uh, I want them not from the current site but from a specific URL and that's where the consultants come in there. so I'm going to copy that shortcut there and paste it here so there we go I find all the 272 items in my consultants list now, if I apply that, you'll notice that I do get the right items here. All the 272 ones with paging. Beautiful. Now I just want to change the property mappings. And uh, this is a bit tricky. Sometimes you need to click twice there to make it stick. But I have figured this out now. As you see, I get all the 700 managed properties here. So you do need to figure out which ones you want, which ones are relevant. And uh, if you don't find your fields, then they might not be managed properties. That's an important thing. So the first thing I want to do is add the proper picture, of course, and that's the contact photo. That's the one I've been using. And uh, the line one is going to be the full name. These are in alphabetical order, so it shouldn't be that far hard to find them. There we go, full name. On the third row there, I want the Contoso department field that I filled in. Uh, all the metadata tags are here under OWS tax ID and there you see my Contoso department so that's where I find that and then finally I want the comments field uh, on the last row there that's the one I want all right I'm gonna apply that and here we go those are the consultants and now I'm simply gonna publish this Then I'm going to add it to the navigation under search settings. I'm going to add a link there called consultants. Browse to the page. Back to the search site. Searching for Lena gives me the same results. Going over to the consultants, okay, that's not optimal. Let's change that. Go back into site settings and remove one of those links. So let's see which one do we want? Don't want we don't want the people. That's not so relevant for us now. Okay, let's go back and search for Lena again. And there we go. Now I can find the consultants, and here's Lena with her picture and everything. Alright, that concludes this demo. Thank you for watching.